hello everybody and welcome to this new video so in today's video i want to talk about a problem that may face some of you uh, uh with uh, when installing uh, wordpress so uh i have a friend of mine that is following my uh course here this course especially when i am creating it i'm creating it this I'm creating these videos and I'm passing these videos to my friend so he can watch it and as he watched my latest video he said that he faced a problem installing WordPress uh, he got also a uh, an account with uh, HostGator so he said that he has a uh, 43 forbidden error when uh, when he goes to install uh, WordPress on a live server so I don't know uh, where th there are some problems due to 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 WordPress file permissions or plugins but I've told him to try to change file permissions and because when installing this is the most common issue when installing WordPress is gonna be with file permissions but it didn't work for him so I had to figure uh, a solution for him so and maybe for you who are watching this course so I will show you how to install WordPress inside of with your cPanel uh, without downloading WordPress in, in fact so as you can see I've installed mine uh, this is the that's about.com slash WordPress and I'm in my admin uh, area so to install uh, WordPress with your cPanel here you can look in your popular links as you can see you will find a link to build a new wordpress site or you can scroll down all the way to uh, softwares i think yeah software and you go to quick install so quick install or on the popular links uh, build a new wordpress site so uh, on quick install you can see you have a website builder you have WordPress you have a one-click installs you have themes you this this may change uh, from web hosting to another web hosting provider you can see plugins as you can see here so let's just stick with the WordPress install uh, this is the the link for the build a new WordPress site so as you can see here the version is 4.0 uh, excuse me 4.8.1 the latest is 0.2 here but uh, it's not a problem not a big deal you can always update after the installation so you choose your domain I'm gonna choose wordpress.desertshaba.com this is the the subdomain that I've created for it directory leave it blank here so it's gonna install under slash then it's gonna automatically go to public HTML slash uh, WordPress so whatever if you type in here uh, public HTML slash WordPress then it will create another public HTML another WordPress directory for you so leave it blank here and click on next and then you have to enter your block title this is my block title this is test I've called it test and an admin user uh, of course I've called it test2 you're gonna give him a first name a last name and then the admin email so you write the information here uh, it's gonna automatically create a new database for this installation so even if you don't uh, if you didn't create a database that's not a problem so this quick install will, will create a new database automatically for this installation so you go to ter you check this term and service agreements and if you fill everything here it's gonna click on install it's gonna say install so test 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 uh, gmail.com and as you can see now I can click on install so once you do this I'm not gonna do this because I've already ha I already have my uh, WordPress installed on this uh, domain so I won't change this 
so once you click on install it's gonna install wordpress and it's gonna prompt you at the end if you want to go to login or to I already remember so sometimes when you click on login it will show you an error another error it's gonna say you can't access this page or uh, something like that so what you have to do is to go to uh, slash wordpress not wordpress.desertshaba.com or whatever you got your name here so you make the your domain name slash wordpress okay slash wordpress admin or uh, just leave it to wordpress and if it prompts you with an error then you go to your uh, again to your file here to your file manager and the wordpress so you go from home you go to public html to wordpress so this uh, this got to be installed in your uh, case by the installer here and here you will find a file called wordpress config where is it wordpress config.php so if you ever face a problem when you go to this uh, location here you delete this wordpress config.php okay you delete it and then you refresh your page here so your domain name slash wordpress you refresh it and when you do this it's gonna ask you to reinstall wordpress so you you will go with the installation process from the beginning so you choose the language and then you enter the database name the database username the password and everything that i've showed you how to do okay so this is uh, a video for you guys who face problems installing wordpress uh, with hostgator or any hosting provider so thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one